Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Prediction. Obviously no Premier League or Championship football this week, purely a matter of fact of the international break. Um, Euro Euro 2020 qualifiers, so I said Euro twice, um, but you know 2020 qualifiers and some friendlies for others. Um, there's been a few games in League One called off um, because of the internationals. I will go through them and I'll tell you what games have been called off as I'm recording this. But you might have realised I'm starting to bolt in the ground behind me. And that's because this time last week that Bolton were looking to go into administration. Luckily, they got saved. Um, you know, being brought out and, you know, saved as a club. Being brought out in, you know, one of the two clubs that were, did look in really financial trouble, and I suppose they were. But to actually sell the bidets in bowling games this season on this channel, it does make me happy that we've only lost to one club, unfortunately, Berry. Hopefully, Berry will still play hopefully and I know it's a big hopefully in the football league next season. Um but you know we've got Bolton so you know it's one club gone but we've managed to save another. Let's just hope Barry Barry can and they will get back into the football league if they don't start in the football league. But guys you know what I do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go. So the first guy I'll kick off with is MK Dons versus Wimbledon. MK Dons looted 2-1 to Africa's Stanley away. Wimbledon 0-0 nil -nil with Wickham. Probably both results are fair on both sides of the table. You know, with, with Wimbledon... You know, where they basically are at this st uh, stage of time. Where MK Dons are, probably just expected a little bit more from them. But for this game, I've gone for a 2 0 MK Dons win. My next one is Doncaster versus Rotherham. Doncaster. Whoop, right, let's start with Rotherham. Um, Rotherham. Uh, one all scoreline against Tramia. I just remembered Doncaster did not play because they're supposed to be buried this weekend. Um, so every team is going to get six points. Uh, I, I think uh, I don't think Berry will be allowed back into League One if there's a financial situation sorted out. I'm not too sure, but I think everyone will get six points this season. Um, obviously, Berry playing no games. You know, which does only leave me on this Wolfram result. Wolfram won all against Tramia. Probably expected a little bit more from Wolfram. But I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. And Doncaster's had a week off. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Akrican Stanley. Um, Akrican Stanley, 2-1 winners over MK Dons at home. Bristol Rovers 2-0 losers at Burton Albion. Probably both results are a little bit expected. Um, consider I've already spoke about that Akron game on both fronts really. Um, Bristol Rovers, you, um, you know, it's as I said, probably just ever so slightly expected. So for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Bristol Rovers win. My next one is Coventry City versus Blackpool. Coventry City, you know, where do you go with Coventry City? Um, well, you drew frail with Oxford this previous weekend, just gone. Blackpool won all at home to Portsmouth. Where do you go with your Coventry, right? You know, they don't look financially stable. Um, not a lot of lower league clubs do. You've, if you watched my last picture of how my opinion on 
you know, the whole saga in the football league, especially lower leagues as well. Um, but, you know, I think it's one of the things. Um, but I've gone for a 2-1 Blackpool win for that one. My next one is Fleetwood versus Oxford Town. With Fleetwood losing 2-0 at Lincoln, Oxford Town 3-0 with Coventry. Just sort of spoke about that Coventry result. Good point for Oxford, I personally do think. And, you know, Fleetwood doing what they, you know, losing 2-0 to Lincoln. Probably a bit harsh. Probably expecting a little bit more from Fleetwood, if I'm all honest. Um, but I've gone for a 3-0 Fleetwood win for that one. My next game was supposed to be Portsmouth versus South End. Postponed international call-ups. My game after that, <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this, um, it's supposed to be Shrewsbury Town versus Peterborough. Yet again, postponed international call-up. My next game after that is supposed to be Sunderland versus Burton Albion. Yet again, postponed international call-ups, which only means I've only got two games left for this weekend to predict. My next one, and this is going ahead as far as I know, is Tramiel versus Gillingham. Tramiel won all at Wolverham. Probably a fair result. Gillingham 5 0 against Bolton. You know, probably a fair result as well. It's one of them things where I think Bolton are going to have to take a bit of time to get used to, you know, start playing again and start getting their players in. But I've gone for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Wickham versus Lincoln. Lincoln, 2 0 winners at Fleetwood. Wickham, 0 0 at Wimbledon. You know, I've already spoke about it from the Fleetwood uh, Wick, uh, Lincoln point of view. Great three points for Lincoln. Um, very much dark horses. Uh, in this other leagues. Um, but I've gone for one all scoreline for that one. But guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.